love you guys. You guys are so awesome. So about a week and a half ago, I did a video, what's in my bag or what's in my handbag organizer. And I had mentioned this right here, this little fan of colors, colors that are suitable for me. I had an overwhelming amount of you leave comments at the end of that video down in the drop down box that you wanted me to do a video talking about colors and sharing my experience on finding out what my best colors are and maybe sharing some tips and tricks with you so that you can find what colors flatter you the most. Well, of course you didn't have to twist my arm. I was ecstatic. I love this stuff. Doing this type of stuff and talking about this type of stuff makes me so happy. So I was very happy to bring this video and I thought I have to make it my next video. I just have to. So many of you wanna hear about this. Let me share a little bit about my story of getting my color analysis done. I had my colors done way back in, I wanna say the early 90s maybe. And when I went in, I went, to, I went to a color consultant, and that is what you are going to want to search for, is a color consultant in your area. Well, not only did they do my color analysis, they did a body analysis as well, telling me what my most suitable and flattering styles and fits, all the way to accessories, are the most flattering for me for my shape of body, um, for different features and what was so awesome is when I was done I was left with this color wheel sharing all of my beautiful colors but not only that I was also left with this booklet and this booklet is really the the other parts that kind of went with this this talks about quality and fit the shape of my face what hairstyles would look best on me what jewelry would look best on me with the angles that I have in my face, handbags, belts, how to tie a scarf, what look would look best on me for wearing a scarf. This has been such a wonderful tool. So before we get started, one of the things that I want to recommend to you is that you find a color consultant or a wardrobe consultant in your area. You can always go to the search engine and search for it. You might have to drive a little bit out of town, but I think it would be so worth it. But see if they will do something like this because having these two key elements personalized to you will make such a big difference when you are shopping and what you're gonna find out in the long run is you're buying less pieces because you have a wardrobe that works together. It works in sync with each other. Your colors, because they are all kind of in the same family, you're gonna find that everything works well together. So I really wanna start out by saying that is one of the biggest things that I would recommend before we get into what I'm going to share with you today. When you are wearing the right colors for you, it creates harmony. Your complexion glows, your skin coloring looks better, your eyes have a sparkle to them, your teeth look whiter, everything just radiates more. When you're wearing colors that are a little off or colors that aren't suitable for you, the opposite happens. Your complexion doesn't look right, you look a little off, your eyes don't sparkle, your teeth will look more yellow, where when you wear the colors that look best on you, your teeth are nice and bright and white. So everything works together. And what you're gonna find out is when you're wearing your best colors, in a sense, I think you already know because you feel better. You just, you feel like something about you looks great that day. And you could think it's your makeup, you could think it's your hair, but a lot of times it's, it's all together, it's one package, and it's because you're wearing the colors that look best on you. Another thing that I notice, especially with myself, when I am not wearing the right color, I can get all ready in the morning, do my hair and makeup, and feel like I look great, and then I put on a color that is not really suitable for me. Let's say I put on mustard yellow. I mean, <laughs> if, if I wanna be asked all day long if I don't feel well, all I need to do is throw on mustard yellow. People will stop me and say, are you okay? Do you feel okay? You don't, 
you just seem a little off today. Well, it's not that I'm off, it's the color is off because you look more tired, you don't radiate. But the other thing that I will notice is when I put that top on, all of a sudden, I don't feel like I look good anymore. My makeup looked great a few minutes ago, but now I've got mustard yellow on and I look <laughs> like I've got the flu or something. So next thing you know, I am pulling out my little makeup bucket and I'm adding more blush and I'm adding this and tweaking that and doing all these things that are really unnecessary when really it is just that I have a color on that is making me look ill and tired and it's really doing the opposite of what I really want to put out there, which is wide awake, vibrant, confident. Something to remember, ladies, is we, and we hear about this when we're shopping for cosmetics, and we already know that. When you are shopping for cosmetics and you are applying your makeup, you want you to stand out, not the makeup. So you want to wear your makeup in a way that shows you, shows your beauty. Well, it's no different with the clothing we wear. We don't really want our clothing to stand out. We want us to stand out. And what you're going to find out when you're wearing something, let's say a dress, for example, and you're wearing it in one of your perfect colors, what you're going to find out is people will tell you how great you look. They'll say, Hey, Tracy, you look so great today. Oh my gosh, you look awesome. You'll go over here and you'll get all these compliments and you'll notice that everybody is telling you how great you look. When you're wearing a color that doesn't look good on you, you might have a really sharp, beautiful dress, very in style, very on trend. But what you're gonna find out is people are gonna go, oh, I love your dress. Oh, your dress is pretty. Oh, that's a really cute dress. But what is standing out is that dress. You're not the one standing out. And let me just say to you right now, you can wear whatever you want. We can wear whatever we want. I'm not saying that you have to stick to your suitable colors. I'm just advising you that if you want to have a wardrobe that works in sync with one another, that works together and not against one another, following your colors that are suitable for you, and you're gonna find this as well with the style of clothing that you wear, which we could do a whole video on that as well where we talk about what styles are most suitable. But you're gonna find out that you're gonna spend less money because you're gonna find that you're more happy with your clothing. You're not always feeling like, I don't know what to wear, oh, I've got this, and how do I put this with this? Everything will flow much more easier, and that's why I do think it is important to put some time and maybe even a little bit of money into finding this out because I believe in the long run, it's gonna save you a lot of money, it's gonna save you a lot of time, and it's also gonna save you some frustration, and who wants to be frustrated all the time? We don't, because we don't have time for it. All right, should we talk about color and figure out what color looks good on you? I think we'll find out what looks good on me, but let's talk about what looks good on you as well. Now, can anybody tell that um, I am wearing one of my best colors, but I kind of did a little trick today, um, just to use an example, because I am wearing one of my best colors. This is, this is an awesome color on me, and when I, when I wear this color, I feel really good. I can tell it's one of my suitable colors but I did a little accessorizing in some colors that are not mine. So I wanna share with you a lot about colors that look good on you, and I am trying to tell you that you can do whatever you want. You're, you don't have to stick with the colors most suitable, it's just gonna be easier. But I wanna show you where you can incorporate maybe some of those colors that aren't exactly flattering on you. The important thing is, is you just don't want them up by your, your face. Okay, so colors, are broke down into four seasons, just like the seasons that we have outside. There's winter, summer, spring, and autumn or fall. So we have two cool seasons and two warm seasons. And when you're thinking about the seasons, I don't want you to be thinking about the temperature, okay? Because if I say summer is a cool, you could be thinking, no, summer would be warm because it's warm. So we're not thinking about our seasons in the temperature. We're thinking about our seasons in color. So when you think of winter, what do you think of? You think of snow 
in icy shades, shades like that. When you think of summer, what colors do you picture with summer? You picture the ocean, you picture the blueness and the vibrancy of summer. When you think of fall or autumn, what colors are you picturing? So you're not thinking about the temperature, you're thinking about what colors do you see? You see olives and browns and rust colors and that's where you'll pull in that mustard yellow color. So that kind of will help you get a little bit of a mindset of what colors are going to go with each season. Let's take this a step further. So there's going to be two cool seasons, and again, we're thinking color, and there's going to be two warm seasons. Our cool seasons are gonna be winter and summer, and I, our warm seasons are gonna be spring and autumn. Now, before you can figure out what season you are, you have to determine whether you are a cool or a warm. And there are a couple different ways to do that. I feel like some are easier than others. One way is to look at your veins. So you can look at your veins and you can see whether your veins look blue or they look green. If your veins look blue, you're going to be a cool person, which means you're going to be a winter or a summer. If your veins are green, you're going to be a warm season, which is going to be like a spring or an autumn. The problem that I see with that, it's not a good one for me because I self tan. So it's hard to see the true color of your veins. So if you are somebody who tans anywhere, which I hope if you're tanning, it's self tanning, tan in a can, it's going to be a little bit harder to use the vein method to figure out if you are a cool or a warm. Another one is by looking at your eyes. So if you have more of a gray to the color of your eyes, let's say you have a brown eye or a blue eye, but there's more gray tone in your eyes, that's gonna make you cool. But if you see more green in there or more warm brown, like if they're a brown color or if they're blue and there's more green, a lot of times that's gonna pull you more into the warm. So pay attention, look at your eyes, see what color they're, they're kind of pulling towards. Now the third way to determine whether you are a cool or a warm is going to be a little bit different and I also think this one can be really challenging and it's by your hair color. And the reason I think it can be challenging is because a lot of us are monkeying with our hair color. We're not wearing our natural shades. So what you really wanna pay attention to is what is your natural hair color? So if you're lighting, lightening your hair color, you just wanna go back to what is my natural color. This one's gonna be broken up a little bit differently. Instead of it being categorizing winter and summer together and categorizing spring and autumn together, now I kind of break it up a little bit. If you have dark hair, you're going to be what I would call a darker season. So I think of winter and fall as being darker outside. Usually you're gonna be a darker season. So if you have dark hair, you're going to be winter or fall. So that's a little bit different because one is a cool and one is a warm. If you have lighter hair, you're going to be either a summer or a spring. Summer being cool, spring being warm. So you're, which, but they're lighter outside. So think of dark hair as darker seasons, light hair as lighter seasons. I hope that made sense, but it will all tie in together as we go along. Now this can be a little bit challenging as well because some people, most people, especially blondes, a lot of them get darker hair as they get older. An example is going to be my husband. My husband is a summer. That means he is cool and he is a summer. I am also cool, but I am a winter. Now my husband has more of a medium brown hair. So it's like, okay, he doesn't have dark hair and he doesn't have light hair. But when he was a child, he had blonde hair. So it makes sense that he's gonna end up being a lighter season. Lighter seasons being summer and spring. But because everything else makes him cool tone, he's a summer, okay? For myself, I've always had dark hair. Very, very dark hair, almost black as a child. It's actually lightened up that's gonna make me automatically be into the darker seasons, which is going to be winter or fall, but because everything else with me 
pulls more cool toned. I'm a cool darker season, so I'm a winter. Don't you love all this hand motion going on? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I think using our hands can help. It's either animated or it's helping. Who knows? I don't really know. <laughs> but anyway, we're having fun with it. <laughs> So let's do a little recap. We have three different ways to determine whether we are a cool or we are a warm. It's by the veins in our arms, or veins anywhere, I guess, our eye color and our hair color. And those are all great methods. And I think if maybe you could nail all three of those, I think that you would probably have an idea if you're going to be more cool toned or warm toned. And then you also already know that if you have dark hair, you're a winter or a fall. If you have light hair, you're gonna be a summer or spring. And we wanna go by what's more of our natural hair, hair color. And that again is a whole nother video I would love to do is, is stuff on hair color because I personally feel like if you alter your natural hair color too much, let's say I decided to go pretty blonde. Once you start monkeying around too much with your hair color, you're gonna mess up what colors look good on you because now the colors that look awesome on you aren't gonna look as awesome. So my advice is always to try to stick as close to your natural hair color as possible. Always take what we were given naturally and work with it. But we can do a whole video on stuff like that because I have lots of little tips that I think can help improve uh, some of the things that we're doing. Again, you can do whatever you want, but it doesn't hurt to hear what somebody's thoughts and input are. That's how, how us ladies like to operate. We like to bounce things off of one another, you and I. And I appreciate hearing from you and I know you appreciate hearing from me. The other thing that we run into though is sometimes we may pull a little neutral. I myself can pull a little neutral. I do have a little warmth in my eyes, not a lot, but if I'm wearing warm shades, I distinctively could tell. Um, but yes, yeah, some of us can pull a little neutral, which means we can sway a little bit into another uh, season. And um, that's nice, but I think what you're gonna find out is you're always gonna look good with your prominent season and it's always good to stick with that whenever possible. All right, so what happens when you go in and see a color or wardrobe consultant and get your colors done? Well, what they do is they take these big pieces of fabric and they put them right below your chin, so right up against you, and then all you can see is your face. They like you to go in with no makeup on because we can make ourselves look good. I mean, we can throw on, I can throw on mustard yellow and probably make myself look pretty decent because I can throw some makeup on and give myself the color that I need. But I'm probably still gonna look a little off. But they like to work with you in your natural state. In fact, I remember that she pulled all of my hair back. So all you could see was my natural hair color because the sun you know, highlights our hair and our roots generally stay the true natural color. So she pulled my hair all the way back so we were working off of what my natural hair color is and then no makeup was on. Then they seat you in front of a mirror and they start swatching you. In the beginning, the very first thing that they do is they take silver and gold because silver is clearly a cool toned color and gold is clearly a warm color. So they put silver up against you and see how you look. They put gold up against you and usually right there is going to tell you a ton. So if you have any item of clothing in your home, it doesn't matter what it is, as, as long as it's kind of a little bit big. So if you could go find something that's silver or gold or even you could do gray and a gold that's not metallic. It'd be nice if you had shiny because that's gonna help determine which jewelry is gonna look best on you. But holding up those colors right there will generally tell you right from the get-go whether you're cool or you're warm. Right from doing the test of silver or gold and determining whether you're a cool or you're a warm, that eliminates two seasons. So for myself, Although gold didn't look bad on me because I do pull a little neutral as well, silver clearly did more for me. I looked more wide awake. The pupils in my eyes, the whites of my eyes, everything stood out more. My complexion looked better. I looked more wide awake. My teeth looked whiter. Where the gold made me look a little bit more yellow, 
it just didn't didn't really it's clear i mean it's very distinct you can see it right away but again when it comes to jewelry although silver jewelry is going to accent me more because it's cool i am somebody who can still wear gold because i do have some neutral in me from there because i'm cool tone immediately spring and autumn are set aside because we already know that i'm cool tone when the next thing they have to determine is are you going to be a winter then or are you going to be a summer and that's where the swatches come out and they do it by colors so let's say they first pull all of the blues and they pull, put blues up against you and they can distinctively see if you're going to look better in the winter blues or if you're going to look better in the summer blues then they might pull pink then they might pull red they might pull green what you have to remember is that all of us can wear every color in the rainbow so if you think of all the colors in the rainbow there is a shade of that color for every season so what i mean is let's take blue there's a winter blue there's a summer blue there's a spring blue and there's an autumn blue and they're all going to be a little different obviously the spring and autumn are going to be warmer blues and the winter and the summer are going to be cooler blues but they're still going to be a little bit different greens there's a green for every season there's actually a yellow for every season um, you know there's red for every season everybody looks great in red you just have to find which red looks best for you black and white are the trickiest because black and white are cool colors so they look great they look the best actually on a winter but summers can wear them as well especially white can look really good on a summer and so can black white and black really don't look that great on warm toned skin so and i can see that i i i know i know certain people that are springs and black does nothing for them it just makes them look washed out they almost look like they're not feeling well they need their color but you will still see because women always flock to black because we all know it's slenderizing and who doesn't want to look thinner ladies i know i get it luckily i get to wear black because i'm a winter you can wear black if you want to no matter what but the spring and autumns you just it doesn't really make you radiate I want to say put some color on put maybe a brown on especially if you're in autumn but really sticking to your colors is going to be very noticeable you're really going to stand out much more and it's going to bring out that beauty that you already have hopefully this is not all too confusing i what i did is i pulled out a couple pieces of clothing of mine to just kind of give you an idea of what i mean about how there is a color for every season but it's going to be a little bit different so i have these blue pants right here with my little uh, dry cleaning tag still still attached now just looking at this you're probably thinking i don't know if that's a cool or a warm toned blue well let's take this blue here and put it up against it are you seeing a little bit of a difference between the two blues see how this one definitely looks warmer and this one looks cooler sometimes if you're out shopping and you need to figure out if something's pulling more cool or warm get a couple different pieces of clothing in that color take them over by the natural light and look at them because you're going to get your best version of that color with natural light versus the artificial fluorescent lights that we're used to shopping in so here is two different blues okay this blue is going to be your your warm season so this is going to be for a spring or an autumn and this is going to be more for a summer or a winter now i am cool tone so this warm blue here up against my face it may look good to you of course i have makeup on and all of that we can make colors work for us this is not an ideal blue for me now these are bottoms so it works fine because i don't have it up against my face and i generally wear this with a white top a white blouse or something like that now so here we have we have a warm warm blue check it out look at me see what you think now let's pull cool tone blue do you see any difference do i look any different you know it's hard to tell if you're going to notice but anyway i know myself if i wear this blue i get a lot of compliments 
I know it looks great on me. Let me show you a couple other tops, same thing. We have this blue here, beautiful blue blouse right here. You're probably thinking, again, I'm not really sure if that's warm or cool. Maybe some of you are starting to get an eye for it and you can detect what it is. Believe it or not, this is a warm blue. Okay, so this one is not gonna be my most flattering blue. But check out this blue. Let's bring this blue up against next to this one. You can clearly see right here that the blue colors are not the same. I realize this is lace and it could be more challenging, but you can tell that this pulls more warm, this pulls more cool. So we've got warm up against me in a blue. Now let's take cool up, up against me in a blue. Okay, the cool is going to look much better. When it gets a little bit harder is when you're trying to determine, is this a winter blue or is this a summer blue? which is really nice because I have my husband's palette and we'll, we'll get into that and I'll show you my winter cool palette and his summer cool palette. You can kind of see where the differences go because I would say the winter is gonna be a little bit more deeper jewel toned and the summer is going to be kind of in the same family because they're cool but they're gonna be lighter cools. Mine are gonna be darker cools. Think of winter as a darker, it's darker outside, darker season going to be darker colors. Summer is more light outside, going to be lighter. Autumn, darker colors. Spring, lighter colors, but yet they're both still going to be warm. I hope this is all making sense. <laughs> all right, I pulled out some other colors just to kind of give a little bit of an example. If I mention coral, what do you guys think? Do you think coral's cool or do you think coral's warm? I mean, if you think about it, Coral leans more into the orange family, so coral obviously is going to be a warm season. I love the color coral. I'll see somebody in coral and I'll think they look amazing, but generally they're a spring. I put coral on, it does nothing for me. Next thing you know, I'm applying more makeup. Although I love the color, I, you know, I do wear it once in a while because I do have some pieces, but I know when I want to look my very best, I don't go after my coral stuff. I go after the stuff that just makes me feel really good. Okay, so let's take a look at coral. Okay, here we go, warm. This would be beautiful on a spring. If you, if you look good in this color, that right there alone tells you something. If you know when you put this color on, you just radiate. Right there, right there tells me that you would know your warm tone and you're probably a spring. If you put this color on, however, and this doesn't look good on you, you're like, oh, I would look off on that color. Well, that's because you're warm toned and you need to stick with your warm toned clothing. So you wouldn't want to go. That explains why it doesn't look good. So that right there should help you a ton. This color, awesome on me. This is a cool toned color. This is an awesome color. I look great in this color. When I wear this color, I look washed out. It changes my coloring. My teeth look more yellow. I, I look tired. I look... I wear it, it's a golf shirt, I love it, it's, it's Puma. <laughs> if you follow me and you know my love for Ricky Fowler, you'll know that I, I have tons of Puma uh, golf clothes. So I wear it, but I just, I'm not really rocking when I wear it. Sorry, it's just not happening, but when I wear this color, I am, and this is not Puma, it's Polo. Oh, I tell you. And then, okay, check out this pretty purple color. Isn't that pretty? Do you think this looks cool or do you think this looks warm? What do you think? Does it look good on me? What do you think? Hmm? Well, guess what, folks? This is not my color. This is not my purple. There's a purple for every season. This is not mine. If you are a spring, this is going to look amazing on you. It, you <laughs> go get this if you're a spring, okay? Because this is going to be beautiful on you. But um, no, it's not. It's not. It's not my purple, unfortunately. Yellow. Okay, here's a couple examples of yellow. Yellow's a hard one. Um, that one you don't want to make a mistake on, but you hopefully you can clearly see that this pulls more golden. This is more of a warm yellow. This one here would be more of a sunshine, cool yellow. So there's two different yellows. This yellow, not going to do as much for me, okay? This yellow's going to look much better on me because it's a cool tone. Here would be more of a pinky color. Let's, let's grab that one shirt back up here. 
Okay, I mean, we're talking two different types of pinks. This is kind of that corally pink color right here. Beautiful color. If you're a spring, this is gonna look amazing on you. This would look good even on an autumn. Um, but on me, it's, it's just not going to do too much for me versus having something like this one that fell off my hanger uh, because I didn't, I was too lazy to button it. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, but yeah, a color like this is going to look much better than this color. So hopefully this is kind of making some sense. Here's a color I love. Now this would be an example of a cool tone but not a winter. So this is a beautiful turquoise and everybody can wear a turquoise as well. There's a turquoise shade for all of the seasons. This is a beautiful color. This would be a summer. So it's cool toned. And yeah, I can get away with it a little bit more than I could if it, if it was warm, I can't. So I can get away with this a little bit, but this would be beautiful on a summer. My turquoise is going to be a little bit more deeper. My turquoises are gonna be, this one's pretty close. So like I said, I could get away with it, but because I had mentioned before, I'm gonna wear the same colors as a cool summer, but mine are going to be the darker versions. Summer, which is cool, is going to be the lighter versions. So hopefully that is, is helping you to grasp how it all works, because it can be confusing, but uh, maybe watch this video a, co a couple times. <laughs> I try to make these videos short, but it just never seems to work. So there you go. So here is my um, little color swatches. What's really awesome too, when I had mine done, is they give you a swatch of your skin tone. So when I had my colors done, I was not tanned, I remember. This right here is what my natural skin tone color is. Then they give you another little card that is, oh, these are so worn. Did one fall off? I might have lost one, but they will give you a little swatch of your eye color and one of your hair color as well, which is really kind of neat. And then some companies have seasons inside of seasons. And what I mean by that is, for instance, I am a winter but then there was different types of winter. And that's through the company that I went through. Um, Beauty for All Seasons is the name of it. That's something that you could put in the search engine if you wanted to see if there was a consultant that did Beauty for All Seasons. But I am what's called a dynamic winter. The winters are still gonna be in the same color family, but um, there's just a little bit different break, breakdown. I would not sweat it. To me, a winter's a winter, a summer's a summer, and so on and so forth. So, um, but yeah, it's really nice and handy to have something like this. I have a little pouch that it goes in, goes in my handbag organizer as I had shown in that video, and I will link that video down below, but perfect for carrying around. I don't really need it. I know my colors, and you'll know yours as well. Again, if you look good in coral, you're a spring. How easy is that? So again, my colors came in a little unit like this, and then my booklet uh, was like this. Let's take a look at my husband's, who is cool toned as well, but he's a summer. Now, the Beauty for All Seasons, they didn't have that. So he went to the same place I did many years ago in the early 90s. She did not have a Beauty for All Seasons tailored for men. She had this Signia, um, brand, which is actually what the booklets are made out of. Sig Signia is um, the booklet brand. So when my husband had his colors done, she's looking at suit colors, colors for ties. So the swatches were a little bit different. So his colors came in this really unique case right here. I, I, I love his. I just think this is so amazing. It's broke down into four different little color wheels. So he has shirts, and these would be, um, it says lights for shirts, summer ties, active wear, hair, skin, and eye colors, and his metallics, meaning he, telling him what jewelry would look best on him. Then they have a sports section, so this would be your active wear, um, sport jackets, things like that. Over here they have your palette for suits, so this would be your suits, sport jackets, slats, ties, leathers and casual wear in here they have ties so very unique and then what you do is you just pop out so let's take the ties and here would be his color swatches 
for ties. So if he wanted to go with a solid color tie, he could pick one of these colors and it would look amazing. Or I could use this to try to find a pattern that, that had the majority of these colors in it to go in his tie. If you were to pull out the suits, it shows that he's gonna look great in your navy suits, he's gonna look great in your gray suits, but he can also wear browns, but they're going to be cool tone browns. What's amazing is you don't see black in here. Everybody flocks to black, but he's gonna look better in your darker navies. So that's always something to remember. Maybe you're gonna look better in navy when everybody's out there wearing black. So very handy for that. Then let's take a look at like his shirts. So look at these beautiful colors. So these are all cool toned. You don't see anything dark and vibrant like you would in my winter palette. You're gonna see more icy colors. You're gonna see icy yellow. Look at this mint green. Look at this beautiful blush pink. And again, here is his skin tone and then here is his eye color because he has more of a hazel eye Although hazel can be warm, he has more blue in his hazel eyes. And this shows him right here that silver is going to look better on him than gold. Because he's cool tone, silver is going to be cool and gold is warm. And then for sports, look at these colors. These get a little bit more vibrant, but check out this. Remember that purple shade that I showed? This might be kind of similar. I've got quite the pile going up. Oh, nope, I guess you can see this still pulls a little bit too warm. This would be his color, but look at some of these shades. I mean, these are beautiful. Wearing a golf shirt in one of his colors, he's gonna stand out and you know what? He does. When he wears one of the, a shirt in one of these colors, he has golf shirts in all of these colors. People always tell him how good he looks and it's because he's wearing his colors. So that's kind of how that works. You can kind of see that his are going to be lighter where my colors are going to pull more, I would say, jewel tone. They're going to be deeper and darker. You know, if you were to look at, let's say his purple that we were just looking at. Okay, you see his purple, look at my purple. So see, they're both gonna be cool tone, but mine's gonna be more vibrant. Mine's going to be darker. Remember I talked about lighter shades and darker shades. So very handy, love having these. Um, just, again, you'll get an eye for what colors look good on you, and when in doubt, just hold it up against you. That's always going to be um, your best way of communicating to you whether it's a great color on you or not. The other thing that I want to mention is a really awesome book. This book has been around forever, but basically this is going to pretty much tell you everything I told you today, but it's actually going to break it down. There's going to be chapters on different seasons. It's going to talk about all the same thing, winter eyes. It talks about... Um, celebrities that would be winters or your season. Of course, again, this is an older book. So for instance, notable winters would be Catherine Zeta-Jones, Courtney Cox, you remember her from Friends, Barbara Bush, which is a great interesting thing to share with you. If somebody has a silver hair, like a silver white, like Barbara Bush, they usually are going to be a winter. She probably had very dark hair when she was younger in her younger years. Connie Chung, Michelle Kwan, Sandra O, oh, um, Selma Hayek, um, which I would have pictured her to be a warm, Penelope Cruz, Ann Curry, and Halle Berry. Um, they are all winters. But see, it will show you your best colors for winter. You find your season. You could cut these out. You can take this book with you. Like I said, although this book has been around forever, it's called Color Me Beautiful by Joanne Richmond. I will link it below. I will link anything that I can below. This is great. Um, have had this for years. This was my starting point and I would recommend this to anybody. Even if you do go get your colors done, I think it would be worth reading this. This is kind of off the topic a little bit, but another book that is just a Bible for me, it is my fashion Bible. This is a little bit older, not that many years maybe 10 years old by Bradley Bayou. It's called The Science of Sexy. I've talked about this on my Snapchat before. What this does is it, it's, it doesn't really talk so much about color. It takes your body shape according to your measurements. So you take your height, 
your weight, your measurements, and there is, I don't know if there's like 30 some different body shapes in it. In this book, he advises you how to dress what looks most flattering on you to create the more the hourglass illusion that we all desire. This is just a must, absolutely love this. But let me know if you would like me to do a video where I talk about what's in here. I talk about our different body shapes and how to dress for different body shapes because just like the colors, I think that's a big thing and I think you won't be finding yourself out shopping as often if you're buying the clothes that are most suitable for your body shape. Well, there you go. I sure hope I covered everything. I feel, I feel like I went on and on. I feel like I was pretty detailed. Um, so hopefully everything was out there. But if you have any questions or anything that you wanna share, please leave that down in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I love that communication as well. You guys are wonderful. This was a great suggestion. So many of you wanted this and I was so happy to bring it to you. So thank you so much for joining me and watching today. Don't forget that everything that I am wearing will be linked in the drop down box below. Any corresponding blog post to this or videos, I always link those. I also do a blog post that shares extra details on whatever my videos are about. So always check my website, make sure you subscribe. You'll get immediate notification when new blog posts go out, when new videos go out. And also I have a whole entire blog post on this whole look. So check that out as well. I'll link it below. Um, don't forget that I am currently hosting a Stella and Dot party. I don't know how much longer um, these earrings are part of that. So. Uh, if you want these earrings, click on that link. Make sure you give my name uh, when you check out and um, I will get credit for that, but everything will be there. But thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you wanna see next. Can't wait to do the next video.